almost everyone's journey in the garden starts with a seed. That's what I use to grow all the plants that you see right here, but most of us don't know how the seeds get into that little packet that you find at the nursery. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you on a very special tour of a seed company. I'm here in Broomfield, Colorado, just outside of Denver at the headquarters of Botanical Interests, one of the very first seed packs I ever grew. Super excited, let's go inside. Well, look who it is. Hey, Kevin, how welcome. you doing? I'm doing well, guys. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. You're here to see what the magic is? I'm here to see the magic. I'm here to see the magic. I've always wanted to see how a seed company runs. So we have Curtis Jones and Judy Seaborn, who are the founders of Botanical Interests. So where do I begin? Well, the best thing to do is to start where everything starts, and that's at receiving. Okay, sounds good. I gotta go work with the mechanic on a new seed packet machinery. Oh, okay. Hope to see you back there later. Okay, well, let's start at receiving. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Perfect. All right, cool. So here we are where the process begins at Botanical Interest, which is the receiving area. The man in charge here, looks like you're working on some peas here, Shane. Yep. How's it going? Good. So, this is the station. I'm assuming we've got a bunch of seeds back here. What are you working on right now? Uh, right now I'm working on receiving some peas. We test each lot for germination. Um, there's also certain kinds that we do uh, extra GMO testing for, for high risk species. And then we also test our sprouting seed for a food pathogen test. We take 50 seed sample for us, and that's for us to store in case the Department of Agriculture needs to uh, check it or test it for any reason. We test all our vegetables every six months, mm. our herbs six months to a year, and then our flowers we test once a year. And that's to make sure that where you're getting seed from is matching the reality that they're they're saying. Like, hey, this, this germination rate is, 98%, you want to test it, make sure that that's actually true. Yes, yeah. um, we don't take the vendor's uh, word for it. We test it ourselves. <laughs> okay. Um, and there's certain industry standards that you have to meet for each separate seed. It's different mm. what the minimum germination can be. And we have even a slightly higher standard than that uh, for what we'll keep. Right here, I'm just weighing out um, the 400 seeds to send to our lab and I get results emailed to me. We put it into our system, and that way we always have on record what our germination rates are. What is this here? I see these, and I'm, my eye is drawn to them. They look like some sort of medieval tool. Yes, these are actually seed probes. Okay. Is this to get like a sample throughout type yep. of thing? So if I was to go, can I do it? Yep. So if I go in, keep it closed. Yep. Right? Stab down in. Turn to open. Turn it. I can hear that. Jiggle, Jiggle it. Jiggle yep. it a little bit. Then you can close it. Close it. That's how deep the bag was. So this is to get like a representative sample throughout the bag. Yep. Is that the idea? Yep. So then I can just dump it out here. Amazing. So after you've done the tests, there's a couple machines that seem like they're still in your world over here. Yep. So can we take a look at these two? Yes. Let's do it. So I see this machine here. What does this bad boy do? This is actually a gravity table. And what it does, this deck uh, shifts. You can put it at different settings. Air blows up through the top of this deck. Oh, it's like a mesh, huh? Yep. Yeah. And uh, what it does, the seed will come in down the hopper and down onto the table. It'll shake and vibrate, and then the air blows up through it, and then it's gonna separate the seed heavy uh -huh. from light. Typically, all the light stuff is gonna be debris or dead seed, and it's gonna come down this uh, far chute. And then over here, it's gonna be heavy, Good seed. good seed and then up top this is actually called the rock catcher that's going to catch uh rocks um mud like dirt big clots. old pieces of debris yep yeah when you're cleaning for germination there's not really a good visual but when there's debris in there you can see just all pouring seed. out yeah. and then over here it'll just be um debris and sticks and stems and all so that this is stuff. just another way to make sure that the stuff that's getting in the packet is seed and good seed only yes because our packets uh we don't have any filler any debris it's 99 percent purity yeah most of it comes in that way but as i said sometimes we buy from growers that don't have the capacity to do this it's just an extra step yes got it and then this big old looks like a beer keg or something like that right here what does this bad boy do this is actually an industrial food mixer oh that we bought to do some of our houses and blends uh, in-house. Okay. We mix um, anywhere from two different seeds to 11 different kinds of seeds together. For like a wildflower mix or something like that? Yeah, there's yeah. a cover crop mix we do. Yeah. Um, there's a beet gourmet blend that we do. 
Um, there's a basil with like six different kinds of basil. It rotates all the way around and it's got paddles inside that rotate around. And then that can go to storage and eventually as we'll see, packaging and you know you have a well blended mix that you're not you know sort of overly weighted on one particular variety yep and that we have certain percentages of everything yeah. um, sometimes there's a 50 50 mix there's other mixes where there's as little as one percent of a kind of seed in there wow awesome i see one more machine i really want to get your ear on so let's check that out so some of the seed you get is probably inexpensive and and some is probably quite rare right yes um there's a lot of stuff most of our stuff we pack by weight, and uh, there's other stuff that we actually pack by seed count. Yeah. So 10 seeds, 20 seeds, 25 seeds. This is actually a bean. It's the only bean that we count. That's because it's really expensive. Yeah, all right, here we go. It counts with a laser? Yeah, so there's actually a camera in there, and there's um, a red light laser, and it basically is light displacement. So every single one of these is a bean? Yes. And it's two different cameras, well, two different mirrors, one camera, um, so that there's two views counting it, and they work together kind of like our eyes. Ah, uh, and, and they sort of like process of elimination. Yes. Yeah. And it's because like when you're dealing with like a sun gold tomato, which I believe you guys count, right? Yes. That's an expensive product for you to buy. There's like thousands and thousands of dollars for like 10 pounds or something like that, right? Yeah, and some of the really, really expensive seed we actually teach the machine operators to do extra checks yeah. to make sure that it's counting correctly. What's the most expensive thing you've ever received? I think it's stevia. Stevia. Yeah. And those are tiny seeds. Very, very, Will this count very those? Tiny. Yes. Okay. So this kind of comes to the end of your section of the warehouse, right? Yep. After I bag and tag it, like all this has been tagged. Yeah. Um, it goes off to our bulk seed section, stored in specific spots, and then it can be used by production to actually go on packets. Awesome, well, thanks for showing it to us, Shane. Yep. I'm off to storage now. After Shane is done receiving, testing, cleaning, and prepping all of the seed, it sits here until it's needed in the climate-controlled warehouse, but some seeds are a little more particular than others and need to be stored in even colder temps, so let's check out the cold storage room. So here we are in the cold storage room at Botanical Interests. I'm gonna make sure I close the door behind me because some of these seeds really do need to be stored in much cooler temperatures to prolong their lifespan. We've talked stevia, sun gold tomatoes. Some of these seeds are very expensive and very precious and they need to be at perfect germination rates by the time it gets to you the customer or myself at the nursery center where you're gonna pick these seeds up. So what they'll do is they will use some seed, bring it over to packing, and then bring it back in here if it is a seed that requires cold storage. For example, right here, this is romaine, lettuce, Paris Island, one of the most classic varieties of lettuce. But there's probably, I don't even know how much seed is in here, both in numerical amount of seed and also in dollar terms. But it's really important to keep this cold that's what the cold room is all about. That does it for the storage section here at Botanical, but I can hear some machines clanking in the background. But before we show you the machines, which are really, really cool, I wanna talk about this art. It's what they're known for. I'm gonna head upstairs to the art department and talk with the team. Okay, here we go. Looks like Katie, how you doing? Hi, good. Katie is the art director at Botanical Interests and you know, I think the biggest thing that's different about your guys' seeds compared to most is the art on the cover, but also the information inside the packet. And I'm kind of curious, like, how does that even come to be? So when we um, create a new packet, um, at the same time that marketing is researching and gathering info for the packet, um, we also commission out to artists, and we mm. have a team of artists that we work with generally. So every single packet is custom designed by a particular artist. Yes, so these are the actual art illustrations and um, they're usually done in pencil. And then when we get them um, in house, we scan it and color correct it and um, get it ready to put on the packet. About that same time, we'll be getting the content um, approved to place in and um, then it goes through several rounds of proofing mm -hmm. before it's ready to send to the printer. Got it. And I think the thing that maybe most people don't know, I mean, there's there's a lot of info on 
just the outside of the packet, but then when you open right. up a botanical packet, this entire piece right here, guys, is how to cook it or how to cut the flowers or how to make the flowers last longer, whatever specific information that you need to know about that seed, which is far more detailed than you'd find, I think, on, on most, other, most other packs. Yeah. I know that these go onto the packet, but what happens to the art when it's done? And these are amazing. Um, well, why don't you take a peek around the corner over there? Okay, let's go, guys. Here we are in the Botanical Interests secret art vault. Every single one of these drawers has all the art that's ever been created for the seed packs that we just saw. So I'm gonna pick one that maybe I haven't seen before. So let's take a look at the Hollyhocks. And if we open this up, what we can see is the original art from every single pack that they have ever designed, which is just so cool. I mean, let's take a look at this. Look at this echinacea. I mean, this is absolutely incredible and part of what makes the seed packs, at least in my opinion, so special. But now we need to figure out how those seeds actually get into those packs. We gotta go head back downstairs to packing. The artwork is designed, the packs have been printed, but every single packet that Botanical Interest designs must also have a sell-by date stamped onto each so you know you're getting the freshest seeds possible. They are ran through this rapid-fire printing machine which dates and counts the total inventory of seed packets for each variety. Now that the seed packs have their dates on them, they can officially move to packing, but some seeds are actually so lightweight you can't pack them with the machines I'm about to show you. So April here is working on Scabiosa seeds which are extremely lightweight. Take a look at them. So these ones need to be hand weighed and packed by hand, but that's not the case for most of the seeds. So let's head around the corner, check out these crazy machines. Around this corner, we have Joel, the production manager here at Botanical Interests. Yes. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Okay, so what are we looking at? Because you see this whole row of these crazy looking machines that are, I think, packing all the seeds. Yes, over here we have a machine that counts seeds. Okay. Actually, if a packet requires uh, 10 seeds, uh, this machine is capable of doing that. Okay, so some machines will put a certain amount of seed in and some will literally count the seed and yes. put only that exact count in. Yes. The seed packing machines begin with a technician pouring bulk seed into a hopper where it can be managed by a mirror to top up as needed. And at this point, the packs then go through a rather intricate process of opening, being held open, and then seed will drop in that is either weighed, counted, or both to ensure accuracy. The cool part is each of these machines does something just slightly different, maybe optimized for speed of packing or getting a little bit more intricate to track more expensive or delicate seed. A technician is on hand for each machine to make sure that they are operating properly. In the case of more delicate seed like stevia or a very rare tomato, you have a laser counter that counts the exact amount of seeds intended to be in a pack drops it into a small little sachet, which then runs up a little channel and drops into the classic packet that we all know and love. At Botanical, these machines are the bread and butter of the operation and can do upwards of 50,000 packs in a single day. Once they're packed, it's time to collect them, box them up, and head on over to order receiving. And it looks like down here, something new might have come in? Yes, uh, that oh. machine just came in uh, this come week. See the new oh, machine. Judy. Hey, Calvin. We found you. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's the story on this guy? I, first of all, I like how they're clear so you can like, kind of see what's going on in the machine. That is really fun. It's fun, right? When it it's turned really on, fun. you can just sort of be mesmerized by the activity. <laughs> so, so, what's going on with this one here? This is our latest machine. Uh, it has six bowls to count. Wow. Counting seed takes a really long time, mm -hmm. uh, but the accuracy is excellent. But having the six bowls, we'll be able to do it much faster. Got it. So this will go for maybe like a stevia or something really expensive you might you might count this way? Hybrid tomatoes, hybrid peppers. Okay. Um, like to count those. Got it. And then Joel, when we get done, let's say packing a box, we're gonna head over to storage over there and then it goes into order fulfillment. Right? Yes. Awesome. Okay, well let's head on over there and check it out. So I'm here now in the pick and ship area, which is really cool. You're gonna see it in a second. I see Curtis over here. What do you got going on, Curtis? Oh, hey, Kevin. Uh, yeah. Got an order here for Ace Cole 
in San Francisco. And this is a reorder. This is a reorder for one of our um, retail stores. That's a big order. Yeah, it's a big order. <laughs> That's, That's a, big a order. very good store. Yeah. Okay, so what do I do now? Now you will take it over to Grant. Okay. And he will show you how we fill the orders. Let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we've got... Grant Kevin, here. This is Grant. Hey, nice to meet you, Grant. Grant is in charge of our order filling crew. Got it. And he does a great job of managing them and making sure everything is perfect. Amazing. Okay, Grant, I've got an order. Looks like a reorder, and it looks pretty sizable. Yeah. So show me what to do next. All right. So we're going to scan this into our computer here. Um, so I'm going to have you do that, actually. Well, let's do it. Why don't we have you start that off? I'll for scan us. this guy right here. Yep. Okay. We'll hit OK. And how is this all set up? So it looks like I need to pick some wild rocket rocky arugula. Correct. From 1G. Yep. And that is right here. Right and I need here. 10 of them. Yeah. So our system's set up so it goes 1 to 53 on one side, and it starts with our vegetables, then our herbs, and our flowers wrap around the other side. Okay, so I've got the 10. Now do I scan yep, the label here? Yep, you're going scan the packets there. Okay. And then it'll progress you right on to the next side. Oh, right. Okay, so now I need some bush beans. Correct. 2B. Right there. Right here, and I need three. So every customer is going to pick their own sort of mix, and then it's our job here to fulfill that mix. Correct. Make sure everything's perfectly accurate. Yep. The Got customer it. service department will pass those orders off to us, uh -huh. and then we'll bring them out here to our pickers, and then we'll fulfill them. And then what about these little guys in here? I see like there's a, some sort of card here. Yep. Those are going to be our back tags. They go along with every one of our orders um, that are initial, mm -hmm. and they are basically for the store when they run out of the seeds on their displays uh -huh. that they know to reorder. Oh, I see. And you know what is so funny? Over at Shane's place, we were counting this bean. Oh, yeah. The Orient Wonder. This is the very expensive bean seed. Yep. So if this was an initial and not a reorder, I'd have to include one of these with each. Correct. Okay, got it. But I will not because that's a reorder. Okay, well, I'm going to be too slow to do this, so I'm probably going to let the team do it. But we'll catch up with you, Grant, when we are done with this. And this actually goes out the door to a nursery. Yeah. We're gonna see where that pack ends up at a nursery really soon, but Judy and Curtis called me into the cold room. I'm gonna go check it out. Well, hey guys. Hey. How's it going? How was your tour? Oh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I, lo I love seeing how things are done, and hopefully everyone else does too, so I, I had a great time. Did you tell them? Oh, I guess I didn't tell huh? them the big news. Why, why don't you guys do the honors? We're very excited to announce that we have sold to Epic Gardening, and our missions are so aligned uh, to inspire and educate gardeners everywhere. And us to teach the world to grow. That's always been our mission at Epic. And yeah, to acquire botanical interests and, and carry your guys' legacy and, and mission forward is like a crazy moment for me because I just started as a home gardener, you know, trying to learn how to grow something at home with a Market More Cucumber Pack from you guys. Uh, and then to be standing here, and, and thanks to the audience as well, all of you guys watching, you are the reason that, that we've been able to do something like this and, and carry these two incredible founders' vision forward. So We're, we're also very excited because uh, our retail stores that we sell to are the heart and soul of our business. And they're very important to us. They're our family. And Epic has so much to offer them as far as information. Their, their social media is unbelievable. They're going to be customers coming in just because of, the, of what they have to offer and their information. We're yeah. very excited about that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, like you, you go to the nursery to like dream and plan and learn, and hopefully we can offer a lot more of that through Botanical as well as through Epic. And you know, if you're walking into your local nursery, guys, and you don't see a Botanical rack there, give us a call. <laughs> so we need to we need to make sure that we're everywhere. Absolutely. But yeah, thank you guys so much. It's it's really amazing to be able to carry this forward. So congratulations, Kevin. Thank you. I have a present for you. Oh yeah. Oh, ooh, <laughs> the pack that started it all, the Market More Cucumber. Well, thank you guys both. We'll be seeing a lot more of Botanical here on the Epic Gardening channel. Maybe some new creators, some seed-focused creators, kind of showing a little bit of how this world works, because as you can see, it is quite complicated and quite interesting. But thank you guys so much. I, I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go check on that order, and I'll see you pretty soon. I've got the box that Grant packed. We're gonna bring this and ship it out to my local nursery and I'll see you there. We're here in San Diego, back at the hometown at Armstrong Garden Centers. Obviously, I did not carry that package of seeds here. We shipped it out. Let's go see the Botanical Wall of Seeds. And here we have it, the Wall of Seed here at Armstrong Garden Centers. It's impressive. I have to say the artwork looks even cooler when there's a ton of them in one spot. But this is where your seeds will end up before you come in 
come off the rack, grab some, and bring them into the garden. So if you see these at the nursery, grab a few. And if you don't, ask them why they're not carrying botanical, because now botanical is part of epic gardening. So until next time, guys, I'm gonna find myself some market more cucumbers, and I'll see you on the next video.